Hello class. Uh, I wanted to show you guys a video and have you guys take some notes on um, motors, electric motors, generators, and transformers. So here's what you're responsible for. Oh, I got my daughter here. Say hi, Luna. Hi. <laughs> Uh, here's what we're asking you to do. You will be able to identify and describe examples of electric and magnetic forces and fields in everyday life, such as generators, motors, and transformers. Okay. So what do we want to know? How do motors, generators, and transformers use electromagnetism to function? Our vocabulary, electromagnetism, motor, generator, and transformer. And given a set of data, uh, you're going to have to identify these with 80% accuracy. That's what I'm looking for. So what is electromagnetism? The study of the physics of electricity and magnetism. So these two things go together. Um, electricity can create magnetism. Magnetism can create electricity. So let's see how that happens. So electricity and magnetism are related uh, because electric fields generate magnetic fields. Uh, you might have noticed this with your Chromebooks, um, like whenever I use my laptop, sometimes it'll get uh, magnetically charged over on this sort of side over here, or well, maybe that side over there, where the USB plugs in. Uh, that's because the electricity running through it is creating magnetism as well. Okay, you might have heard of an electromagnet. Uh, magnetic fields can be used to generate electricity. So more specifically, a moving electric charge produces a magnetic field, and changing magnetic fields move electric charges. So you've seen these field lines from magnets between the north and south end. The north and south, the opposites attract the same. They repel against each other. You see the direction of these arrows for how um, the charges are moving along those fields. Magnetic fields radiate in characteristic ways from magnets. Opposite poles attract and similar poles repel. So let's talk about the three types of devices you need to be familiar with. An electric generator is a device that converts, that should say converts, uh, not converse, converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. That's again, we're moving, we're taking motion and generating electricity. So a generator generates electricity from motion. It happens by moving a wire circuit loop within a magnetic field. So we've got a wire circuit loop within a magnetic, magnetic field, which generates an alternating current. Okay, so when motion becomes electricity, that's a generator. A good example is um, an electric turbine uh, from the wind. So the wind spins the fan blades. That has inside of it one of these wire circuit loops. There's magnets creating a magnetic field. Then inside that wire circuit loop, which is moving, we then have um, electricity generated. So that's how a wind turbine electric generator works. All right, you can look at that if you want, but I'm not gonna read through all of it. It's just what we saw before. Same thing here. You can look at it if you want to, but I'm not going to go through it. I'll probably have you watch this video in a bit. Uh, but this is a GIF image of how that works. Here's our wire circuit loop. You can see if you look closely, we have an alternating current. So current is moving back and forth because there's a magnetic field created by these two magnets. There's no electricity flowing in here just by itself until it starts to move within that magnetic field. The magnetic field here is moving those particles forward and back, creating electricity in the wire, in the circuit. So, as we said before, generators induce electric current when a wire moves between the poles of a magnet this is the base of an electric generator. Okay, and this is just another image doing the same thing. Let me see if I can maybe move that. By rotating a loop of wire between two poles of a magnet, electric current is created. We've already said that. This is how steam turbines, wind turbines, and hydroelectric turbines convert mechanical energy into electrical. Again, if you're converting mechanical into electrical, you're generating electricity. Okay, same thing here. So uh, a motor 
is a machine that converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. So the reverse of what we've seen before. We have electricity, now we're going to make motion. We're going to supply current, electrical current, to a wire circuit loop using an electromagnetic force. So we're doing everything sort of in reverse. When we have electricity to make motion, it's a motor. It moves. It's motoring something. All right. So if I've got two magnets here and I put a power supply and some current through here, I can get this thing to spin. This thing can then be hooked up to drive anything that uses an electric motor to run, whether that's a fan in your house or whether it's an electric car um, or a washing machine. Um, all those things work on this principle. So electric energy is converted into mechanical energy by running a current through a wire loop within a magnetic field to generate motion. Hello. This is just review of what we've just seen. Last thing to talk about today, a transformer. A transformer is a device that converts a small alternating current, AC, applied electromagnetic field, EMF, to a larger one, or a large one to a small one, using different numbers of turns of wire around a connected soft iron core. So electrical current is being transformed to be bigger or smaller. That's what a transformer does. This thing that you've seen up here on a power line, uh, sometimes they explode and make a lot of big noise. Uh, that's a transformer, right? So you've got a uh, high, high, high voltage, tens and 20,000 volts coming um, through those electrical lines. And then we need to bring it down to something smaller uh, for use in the house to 240 or 120 volts. So you see we've got a couple of turns of wire here, a lot of turns of wire, wire here, and a soft iron core. Uh, by using this setup, we can transform a lot of voltage to a smaller voltage. Right, you can pause that and read it if you want to. This is a simplified version. Again, you see a few turns of the wire around the soft iron core, a lot of turns of wire. So we're um, converting a lot of uh, voltage into a little, or vice versa, a little into a lot. You can either step down or step up that uh, current. So transformers are extremely useful because they efficiently change voltage and current while providing the same total power. Uh, thankfully for you, you don't need to worry about this math. So we're not going to learn that for us in physics. Just by way of something interesting to think about, these same processes are what makes uh, magnetic levitation trains possible. Uh, they're very low friction because they're magnetized by repulsion off the track. All right. So I think that's where we're going to end for today. Uh, I'll be looking forward to seeing your notes on this and let me know if you have any questions. All right, bye for now. Say bye. And my students are on there too. Your students too? But I need to have a bigger one. Okay, we'll do a bigger one for you. Say bye to my students. And, the, and, and, and I, there are only, I only have to talk to them on your computer. Okay, will you say bye to my students please? Bye. Thank you. Bye.